Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam and today we are going to be looking at why you're going to have to register your 249 gram Mavic Mini. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Adam and we're going to be doing a lot of tech and drone content here on this channel. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit like, subscribe and click that notification bell. So this video is going to be split into two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be showing you how to register your drone right now and how to get your flyer ID and your operator ID. And the second part of this video is why you're going to have to register your 249 gram Mavic Mini, even though the regulations state that you do not have to at the moment. Okay, so if I'm just going to pull up my Google screen right now, what I'm going to be doing is walking through now how to register your uh, drone. So this could be a Mavic Air 2 you've just got or something like that, and you want to know how to register your drone in the UK. So what you're going to want to do is type in uh, CAA drone registration, something like that. So websites for the UK Civil Aviation Authority will come up. You're going to want to click on uh, the one that says registering your drone. You'll come to this website. So registering your drone comes in two parts. You're going to want to get your flyer ID and you're going to want to get your operator ID. The flyer ID is the person who flies the drone. This means you could fly anyone's drone as long as you have that flyer ID. What you have to do for that is a 20 question multiple choice quiz and then that person will then be deemed responsible to fly uh, your own drone or fly uh, your friend's drone or that sort of thing. So the test is quite straightforward, uh, it took me not too long to do. It basically just gives you a general understanding of droning and that it basically tests you to make sure that you know the basic rules and that sort of thing. So to do the test, what you're going to want to do is press this little register button and then it will come up uh, with the website and then you can just scroll down to the theory test and then there'll be a big button that says start now. You hit start now, you have to go through your email address and that sort of thing and then you will hit a test. So I'm, I'm just going to get to the point where I can do a test. Okay, once you're through, you're gonna be asked whether you're gonna want a flyer ID and an operator ID or just a flyer ID. The difference between the two IDs is that the flyer ID, as I said, is the one flying the aircraft. The operator, is, the operator ID is for your aircraft. So you're gonna want an operator ID if your drone is between 250 grams and 20 kilograms. So the Mavic Mini by one gram is uh, safe, but the rest of the bigger Mavics, you're gonna to have to register. You have to pay nine pound and you get a year on your license to be able to fly your drone and then you're saying that you're responsible for it you're also going to get a code and you're going to want to put that sticker onto your drone so yeah that one costs nine pound and for stuff like the mavic mini you will not have to do it but for the bigger drones you do have to um you don't have to take any tests for that you just need to basically say that you are going to be flying your drone your own drone and that sort of thing uh, but the test is for the flyer id so we're going to pretend that we're going to want both and then we're going to go ahead and hit continue. It's a 20 multiple choice question and you need a pass mark of 16. I'll leave a link in the description down below and basically there'll be a few links so you can get up to scratch with your model aircraft code. And now, yeah, so you hit start the test. So you basically get uh, 20 questions. You've got to smash through these multiple choice sort of things. It's a bit like when you're at school and you get those sort of questions, they're like scenarios. And that is what you have to do to get your flyer ID. So you've completed the test, you've passed that, and now you've got your flyer ID. You then go through the stages to get your operator ID. You basically just put in a few details to say that you're going to be flying the drone, then you get the sticker, send it through to your email, and then you can put that onto your drone. If you want me to do a full walkthrough of the test and every single step there is, then please do comment down below because I'll be very happy to do that video. Uh, but for now, a lot of people probably will kind of understand what I mean by just showing on the websites and stuff, which will be in the description down below. And then uh, you guys can go and do that. I mean, if you're going to be flying a drone, I guess you can find out how to do the test. But you're going to want to get your flyer ID no matter what drone you're flying in the UK. Um, the same rules apply for operator ID. Because you're not getting an operator ID with your Mavic Mini, the basic rules apply. You can't go above 400 feet. You can't go near sort of uh, airfields and that sort of thing. So the basic rules to droning still apply, even though you do not have an operator ID. I have actually registered my drone. I've got the sticker. So, I mean, you don't have to. But what you've got to remember, if you're flying a Mavic Mini, if you add stuff such as wraps and the prop guards, then that is going to take you over that 250 gram mark and you're probably going to need to register it. Okay, so on to the slightly interesting part about registering your DJI Mavic Mini. So at the moment, you can enjoy uh, register free flying. You don't have to say that you're going to be flying this 249 gram aircraft apart from having your flyer ID. But as of the 31st of December 2020, so the end of this year, you are going to have to register your Mavic Mini. So what it is, is basically a, uh, it's called the European Union Unmanned Aircraft System Implementing Regulation. 2019-947 and this basically means you're going to have to register 
any sort of unmanned aircraft uh, with the law. This is a law that is implemented in the EU and then the UK are going to be taking this regulation. It's been delayed, it was actually meant to come into force on July 1st, which was like three days ago, but due to the COVID pandemic and sort of Brexit and things like that, things like that, it's just delayed it. So now it's going to be coming in on 31st December 2020. No matter what the way, you are going to have to register your drone. I'll leave a link in the description so you can read a bit more about that because even me, I'm going to have to get more up to scratch on that. But that's the main thing you need to know. The reason you're going to be registering your DJI Mavic Mini is not to do with the weight of the drone. This drone comes in at 249 grams, as I've said and as you know, and that is why the CAA allow it to not be registered because their rule is between 250 grams and 20 kilograms. So the reason is to do with the camera. And the CEA have never sort of touched on the privacy laws and that sort of thing. And now, alongside European regulations, that is why this new change come into place is because of the camera. So yeah, guys, it is a bit of a shame we're gonna have to register our 249 gram Mavic Mini. But at the moment, you can enjoy some register free flying. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe and click that notification bell. If you would, also follow me on Instagram and Twitter for loads of drone shots and sort of posts and that sort of thing, a bit more interaction. Links will be down in the description below and I'll see you in a future video. Take care, guys.